All right, let me ask you one question unrelated to you this from yesterday, but is it's so relevant. It happens the same time you're having this press conference. Uh, Andrew Breitbart, uh, who also was at the conservative leadership conference last year as our keynote speaker, if you recall, um, he died yesterday early morning hours, and he was supposed to have released uh, some, uh, as they say, damning Obama footage. And I, I, you're a law enforcement official. Michael Savage has suggested that Breitbart was assassinated. We don't know that. But, I mean, if, if you were a sheriff or a law enforcement official in Los Angeles, would you be seriously looking into the death of Andrew Breitbart? Well, I'm going to give you a scoop. Okay. First of all, I talked to him four or five hours before he died, okay? You did? He called me. And we talked about, uh, he knew that I was having a press conference the day after. This was the 29th. And he said he had information and all that. Now, I've been around a long time in Washington through the Watergate. Uh, I can tell you, Gorgie, Gordon Lee, I know all this stuff. I've been a federal official for 30 years. So I know about Washington, having worked there three different times. I'm not going into conspiracy theory, but you always got to you got to keep your eyes and ears open. You can't just disregard any situation. Here's a person that uh, I had a lot of respect for. He calls me, and right after that, he dies. Now, am I a jinx, or what's going on here? I, I would hope not, because I called you, too. Uh, oh, I, 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 I do want to know, though, uh, what did he <laughs> talk to you about? What did he have to say? Well, he knew I was having a press conference on March 1. He's, uh, he had uh, J J Jerry uh, uh, Corsi uh, told me he was going to call me. He had the information on tapes or whatever. So the man calls me. And uh, I don't, quite frankly, I didn't remember him. You know, I got so many calls, and he mentioned uh, that he's happy I'm doing my uh, press conference uh, and uh, had some good information. And then I hear that he dies four or five days, uh, four or five hours right. later. So I don't know. Am I the kiss of death or what? Wow. Uh... I feel sorry for his family. I'm beginning to learn more about him. Uh, and I didn't really, I may have met him at your meeting, I don't know, but he called me, and I talked to him. Yeah, he was the keynote speaker. You were one of our speakers, too, and he was the keynote speaker. Yeah. And, uh, uh, I mean, he overwhelmed people because he was supposed to speak, like, up to 30 minutes. He went on for an hour and a half. No yeah. one even began to leave the room, as they don't when you speak as well. So, I mean, there are certain people that, you know, do command a great sense of attention. So, he knew me. I, I just forgot. I get so many talk shows, I can't keep track. But I knew he was going to call me. Uh, of course, he told me that. Mm -hmm. And isn't it sad? Uh, I mean, it's really sad because it's home and you talk to somebody, and then I don't care who it is, four or five hours later you hear he died. That's sad. And he's 43, year, he's 43 years old, and he was going to release later in the day, later in the day, this Obama footage showing him with Bill Ayers and Bernadine Dorn uh, back in the day planning for uh, Obama to be run for the presidency. And the day he's supposed to release it, right after he talks to you about your press conference yesterday, somehow he mysteriously dies walking back from a, uh, uh, walking back from a bar uh, late at night. Uh, that is just uh, amazing. Well, I send my condolences to the family. Uh, I just happened to see him on TV and I got to remember him again. Uh, quite frankly, when I talked to him, I didn't connect him, meeting him prior. Uh, but uh, it's sad. So I don't know what's going on uh, with this whole situation uh, with the birth certificate. I just have to do my job. Uh, I gave it to the cold case posse. Uh, I swear in citizens, they've been sworn in uh, uh, years ago, ex-cops, attorneys. So I, anybody that accuses me of wasting taxpayers' money, they can't accuse me of that. They're accusing me locally of everything you can think about, that I did this to cover up the Justice Department. I think I told you about that. Mm -hmm. I'm just doing my job. 250 Tea Party people came to me and said, sure, if you're our last hope. Can you look into it? Okay. All right, I've got to ask you one last question, which is an, an obvious one, especially in light of the death of Andrew Breitbart. Are you uh, taking good care for your own safety or concerned about uh, your safety, given what you're releasing? Listen, I got Mexican cartels after me. In fact, they're pretty cheap. There's only four million. So I got all these threats. Just busted a guy in Portland, threatened to kill me. There's a guy in uh, Tennessee we're working on who wants to kill me because of Obama working on him. I get these threats all the time. 
I'm a big guy. Been around law enforcement 50 years. Maybe I ought to go to Las Vegas. Trump will give me one of his rooms. And I, uh, <laughs> all right. Trump, where's Trump with all this stuff? Too busy endorsing Romney? Uh, well, actually, Trump came out and was questioning the president's birth certificate a long time ago as well. So, you know, he I think. Didn't he didn't do anything. No, he, he questioned he a long time ago. It? He's not a law enforcement guy. Now you got a law enforcement agency looking at it. Well, the first one looking at it, uh, Sheriff Joe Arpaio from Maricopa County, Arizona. Listen, as always, Sheriff Joe, uh, America's Sheriff, thank you for being with us.